You can make adjustment to colors and brightness and everything else over here manually inside of CapCut Desktop Editor for the footers that you want. So to do that, I'm going to go around and select this footers over here and then I'm going to go around under adjustment right here. Once you go around, you can see the adjustment over here. And here you can see that you can make adjustment to temperature, hue, saturation, and a lot of other properties as you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and change around the temperature. And what you can see is that as I bring the temperature down, you can see that the video is much more cooler. Well, if I were to go around and bring this up, then it becomes much more warmer right here. So cooler is uh, when uh, it becomes more blue and warmer is when it becomes more yellow, which makes it a feeling that it is much more warm and cool right here. You can similarly go around, change around the hue to pink or green as you want as well. So you can say, let's say, for example, you can make it more pink and more blue right here, just like this. And this is what you have. You can disable out the adjustment by unchecking this particular check mark right here and uh, I'll click it out right here just like this and then what happens is that it simply uh, does it out right here. So what you can also do is increase up the saturation to add more color or remove out the saturation altogether to remove out color as well. You can also go around and add in the value. Let's say for example if you were to say 40 right here then what happens is that the color is here. So if I were to go around and make it 50 right here, then it is more colorful. So you can decrease and increase the color as you like, just like this. Then you can go around and work around with the brightness right here. Increase out the brightness or decrease out the brightness to get the brightness level you want right here. Then you can also work around with the contrast. Increase the contrast level or decrease the contrast level as you like right here. Then you can work around with the highlight and increase out the highlight. That is, it affects the bright parts of this particular footage right here. But to make it much more clearer, let's just go around and bring in this footage. And in this footage, I'm going to go around on under adjustment. And here you can see that the highlight is here. So if I were to work around with highlight, you can see that it affects out the uh, sky areas, which are already bright, as you can see right here. Then you got the shadow areas right here and if you were to change around the shadows then you can see that it affects out the darker parts of the image right here so you can bring the highlights down bring the shadows up right here then increase the contrast to get more detail as well so this is what you have as you can see and then you can increase out the um, saturation right here and then work around with the brightness and you can see that this is the before and after you can make things much more pop up then you got elimination, which simply means uh, another brightness right here. So brightness uh, brightens everything out, while elimination um, th uh, just keeps the darker areas much more darker right here, just like this, and then brightens out the overall area. So this is what you have, as you can see. And apart from that, you can add an effect as well, which has softness, which makes the video much more sharper or more, much more softer. You can add in particles to make it seem like a noise right here, just like this. Um, 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 so you can go around decrease and increase the particles as well. Then you can go around and add in a fade over here as well, so that it looks like an old footage as well. And you can add in vignette to add in some dark areas over here on the side or bright areas over here on the side right here, just like this. And this is what you have. And if I were to click on apply to all, then it gets applied onto the previous footage as well with the same settings. And that is how you can work around with custom adjustments inside of CapCut Desktop Editor. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.